Before we begin, click subscribe to stay up to date with all of our newest video content. Today's tip from CS3 Technology is how to process a customer refund in Acumatica ERP. We're going to start with an overview of the complete process, then we will walk through the customer refund steps. I'm going to use T-accounts that accountants are familiar with, but don't worry if you're not an accountant. I'll go through this quickly and get onto the demo as soon as possible. This all started when we sold some widgets to our customer, and then happily, he paid them for us. Later, the customer decided there was a problem with one of the widgets and returned it for a refund. In accounting, we process a credit memo. There are some other things going on in the inventory system that I'm skipping over because our focus here is the accounting side of things. The next transaction will be where we start our demo. We create a transaction in the accounts receivable module that is a special type of payment called a customer refund. The transaction removes the credit balance from the customer's account, but where do we put the offset? We will look at this more closely when we are processing this transaction in the demo, but because this is a type of payment in Acumatica, we will use the cash account to temporarily hold this amount. You will see that we remove it a bit later. Just a note, you do not want to use a cash clearing account here if you have cash clearing accounts set up in your system. Once we release the customer refund, we have the customer's receivable account where it needs to be, but we haven't cut a check yet, and we have that credit sitting in the cash account we need to deal with. Now in the Accounts Payable module, we create a bill, or a quick check if you prefer. The account we enter the debit to in the bill will be our cash account we used earlier, which will offset the amount we, pro we processed with the customer refund transaction. All we need to do now is cut the check to the customer. Now let's take a look at how we do this in Acumatica. We have our customer invoice where the customer purchased 10 widgets. It's been paid and the status is closed. Then we processed our credit memo when they made a return. The credit memo has been released, but it is an open status. This is where we will apply our customer refund. In Accounts Receivable, we create a special kind of payment. We create a special kind of payment called a customer refund. And I will fill out the rest of the screen here. The refund is for $500, and we will apply it to our open credit memo. This transaction is going to debit the accounts receivable and credit the cash account. This is the account we will clear in a moment when we create a refund check in accounts payable. Save and release. Once we release the transaction, the customer's account is where it needs to be. Next, we need to cut a check. If you try to create an AP bill for this customer, FDI Acme, you'll see they're not on the list. That's because they're a customer and not a vendor. But Acumatic has a special function that helps in this regard. You can make a customer into a vendor and vice versa. On the customer maintenance screen, under Actions, we need to extend to vendor. This will create a vendor record with the same ID as the customer. You just need to add the vendor class and make any other tweaks necessary. And now we go to make a new bill for our customer. 
who is also a vendor. And be sure that we use that same account we used on our customer refund. Release the bill. The next step should be familiar to you. We pay the bill, we create that check, we print the check and release it, and then our process is complete. Our account balances are now where we need them. Our cash has been appropriately reduced and the sales have been reduced as well. All the other accounts used in the process net to zero. I hope you don't have to process customer refunds very often. One of the reasons I wanted to make this video was to help you get all the pieces together whenever you do. Have fun refunding. Was this video helpful? Click subscribe to see more videos like this one.